In this session, I am covering the screensaver sequence. If you do have a CLA manual, I am covering the screensaver section. If you click on Modules, Screensavers. The Manage Screensaver screen is going to open. You will see that we are currently working in the month of October. It does default to the current month. The available content for the sequence month is listed in this grid here. This is the content that has been uploaded into your content library. If you have not yet uploaded the content into the content library and you are not sure how, please will you refer to the video on adding content to the content library. Once this content has been added to the content library, it will appear in this available content for sequence month should your lifespan have included October. If we move into November, you will see the grid at the top is considerably smaller. That is because your other content has expired at the end of October. The lifespan does not extend into November. If I go into December, you'll see in my instance there is no content available. So if you did want to set up your sequence for December, you would need to either import content into the content library first or go and extend the lifespan of the image that you are wanting to use. If you go back into October, we are going to start setting up a sequence now by selecting the content that we are wanting to display as part of our screensaver sequence. You select the content in the available content grid with tick boxes. Then you click on include selected items it will remove the content that you have just selected from your available content and it will move it into your selected content grid. If you are wanting to reorder items so that they appear in a different order, you are able to do so by clicking on the item that you would like to move with a tick box and then using these arrows at the side to either move that content up or down. Once that content is in its required position, you would simply untick it again. During your setup process, if you realize that one of your default durations is too long or too short, these default durations are the ones that you set up in your content library when setting up your content. For instance, if we find that the Disney Award screensaver is too long, and we'd like to modify this duration to be 10 seconds, you are able to modify these defaults by double clicking into the cell and changing it here, or by selecting it with a tick box and using the button at the bottom of the screen that says change duration. These default durations do not need to be modified in the content library again. Um, at this point, you are able to modify it directly in your sequence. The effective dates in this sequence um, grid are the dates that the content will start and stop showing to your end users. This is not the lifespan of the content. This is the actual display time of your content. So if you are wanting content to start next week, Monday, you would be able to set up your effective from dates Promote it now so that you don't need to physically activate the campaign on Monday. To change an effective date, for instance, Disney Awards, if we don't want it to run until Friday, we only want it to display until Wednesday this week, we would be able to double click on the effective from an effective to change Friday to be Wednesday next week and the effective date changes. You are also able to change effective dates by ticking and using the change effective dates button at the bottom.
if you are wanting to modify targeting, the targeting on your screensaver items are defined as the default targeting when you create your category. So if the targeting requirements have changed since creating the category, you are able to double click onto the targeting that you're wanting to change. So for instance, if you are wanting to change the targeting on the innovation image, you would be able to double click onto the users block. Your targeting screen will open and you are able to modify your targeting in any way. You're able to add additional groups, you're able to add additional users, machines, remove groups, however you would like to change this targeting. So if I wanted to add the staging users group, I would be able to add this to the targeting and apply it. If you do need additional information on the targeting screen and how it works, please refer to the video on targeting explained. Right, if I am happy with the sequence, with the order of the images, etc., I would save the sequence. It tells me that the sequence is visible only to staging users until promoted. Are you sure you want to save the sequence? You say yes. And the screensaver sequence for the selected month has been saved. This sequence here does dictate the order of the items. The duration dictates the number of seconds that each item will stay on the screen for. The effective dates obviously dictates when I'm going to see it. And the users column dictates whether or not I need to see it as an end user. That is all controlled within the screen. At this point, your staging users or your content previewers will start seeing the sequence because it is effective currently. The live users in your environment are not going to be seeing the sequence yet. Until you have previewed it, you've approved it, and you have made the con conscious decision to promote it to live. If you do need additional information on the live and staging environments and how they work, please refer to the video on live and staging explained. To preview a screensaver sequence, you would either click on the preview button at the bottom of the screen. You're previewing for the entire month. You want to see all the content. You click on OK. If you leave your mouse so that the screensaver can launch, you're going to see your screensaver launch. That control panel is only available to the administrators within the admin tool. End users also have access to it, but not, not ordinarily so. They wouldn't know where to find it. This just allows you to force your screensaver to launch so that your screensaver timeout doesn't need to be waited for. So you don't have to sit and wait 15 minutes for your screensaver to launch in order to preview it. You will see the items displaying with their corresponding durations in the corresponding order. And if you interrupt your screensaver, it's going to go back to your Manage Screensaver screen. The other way of previewing your screensaver is to click on Settings, Control Panel, Launch Screensaver. This is the control panel that I spoke of just now that allows you to force the timeout on your screensaver so that you don't need to wait for your screensaver to launch ordinarily. Either preview or launch screensaver can be used to preview the sequence before you approve it. If you interrupt your mouse, the screensaver will stop. You can close the control panel. If you are happy that that is what your users need to be seeing, click on Promote to Live. 
type in your password. CLA is going to ask you if you are sure this is what you want to do. You will replace the current live data with staging data. Click on yes. And it is going to tell you it has been promoted to live. If you look at your live environment, you will now see that it matches your staging environment. Your live users will now start displaying this content as soon as they have synchronized with the server and pulled this content to their PCs. In order to modify a sequence, if you're wanting to remove an item, for instance, so if you want the screensaver xenophobia to stop showing, you would click onto it, click on Remove Selected. It's going to remove it from your sequence. You're going to click on Save Sequences. Again, it's warning you that this change is only visible to your staging user. So if you have a look, your live content, that item is still displaying to your live users. Therefore, you need to be very, very aware that any changes that are made in your staging environment need to be promoted to live again. You will now see as soon as the promote has been completed that your staging and your live environments now match. Your screen saver sc sequence is able to display multiple content types. It's not just images. You are able to include videos. You are able to include flash files. You are able to include URLs. I am going to include a video. And I'm going to include a flash file. Save the sequence. I just want to change the order. I want we make it happen to come first. Save the sequence. Again, if I click on my live tab, you will see that because I have not promoted this, my live users will not be seeing the video or the flash file yet. But if I preview this, you're going to see what a bit of animation can do to a screensaver. Very important not to use audio as part of a screensaver. If your video has got audio on it, you need to have the audio stripped off. It can be very disruptive if your screensaver sequence um, does have audio in the video. This is your innovation image. This is the video that we have set up. If I interrupt behaves as a normal screensaver. If I preview it again, it will start on the next item in the sequence. It says Disney Award. After Disney Award should be the flash file. it is we make it happen the animation is very powerful on a screensaver if you interrupt with your mouse you're happy with the changes that you have made promote to live Now, your live users will also start seeing the video in the flash file. You are able to go into future months and add sequenced content for November, December, as long as your 
license is valid until you are able to go in and set up your content in advance. So um, if you do have an annual license, you're able to pre-plan all your static campaigns.